Mbo sana. Pongezi. You have built a very beautiful church. Ikisemekana ya kwamba ilikuwa nyumba ya mabati kuamini itakuwa shida. Lakini nataka niwaambie pongezi sana wakati nilipata mwaliko wa kuja hapa. Nilifurahi sana kwa sababu nilijua kwa sababu nilisoma kidogo mwenye kuniandikia aliniambia aliniandikia safari yenu ya kufika hapa. Vile imeelezwa na ndugu yangu hapo bwana Njuguna. Na nikasema lazima nifike hapa niwe shahidi ya bidii yenu na imani yenu kwa Mungu mpaka mkajenga kanisa hii. Na mimi nasema pongezi tena. Um, mimi pia nataka niwashukuru wananchi wa sehemu hii. Nilikuja hapa na daktari Patrick na timu yetu ya UDA tukaomba kura zenu mkatupatia wacha niseme tena asante sana na vile mjumbe wenu amesema sasa sisi wote kama viongozi inatubidi tujumuike tushirikiane tufanye kazi ya wananchi wa taifa letu la Kenya tukiwa mirengo tofauti lakini kazi yetu ni moja ya kutumikia wananchi wa Kenya Asante sana askofu kwa kutueleza neno la Mungu. Nimefurahi sana kwamba tuko na historia ndefu. Tumeshiriki pamoja na wewe katika makanisa mengi hapa Nairobi. Na nashukuru pia umenikumbusha kanisa ya Kayole. Na nakumbuka hiyo eh, wakati tulikuwa Kayole pamoja na wewe. Na sasa umesema unaenda kustaafu na ile kanisa bado haijakamilika. Mimi nataka nikueleze askofu ya kwamba kama itabidi tu postpone. <laughs> <laughs> eh, siku yako ya retirement mpaka hiyo kanisa ikamilike. <laughs> Lakini kwa sababu hatuna uwezo ya kupostpone ile retirement nimeenda katika eh, consecration ya maskofu ya SK inasemwa mpaka tarehe mpaka saa mpaka siku ndio mtu asikuja akakwama kwa ofisi so because we cannot postpone that one then we will have to accelerate the completion of the church kwa hivyo na kuomba askofu uh, wale wanaosimamia kanisa hiyo kule Kayole wakuja wanione kesho alafu tukamilishe hiyo kanisa. Uh, na tutafanya bidii. Sijui unastaafu mwezi gani bisho. Ah bas. 29 Septemba tuko na muda tutamalisha hiyo kanisa. So uh, ili tuarakishe uh, utumane wale watu wanashiriki pale kama inawezekana kama uko na nafasi unaweza kuja na wao ndio tupange vile tutakamilisha hiyo kanisa kwa sababu um, ni jambo nzuri when we uh, serve the church and when we serve God kwa hivyo tutashirikiana hivyo na kabla uja staafu tutaenda pale tuweze kufungua hiyo kanisa pamoja to the glory of God Ningependa pia eh, kusema kwa watu wa hapa ni kweli mumeamua kujenga nyumba ya Mungu kabla ya manyumba zenu Na kwa sababu ya imani yenu Nimeambiwa ya kwamba Reverend Manga aliwaambia mkijenga neno kanisa la Mungu Mungu atawasaidia manyumba zenu zitajengwa So if it was a prophecy Mimi na huyu eh, governor wetu tumekuja kuwaambia hiyo prophecy ya kwamba manyumba zenu zitajengwa hapa bahati vile mmejenga kanisa la Mungu We want to confirm that that prophecy is going to happen. 
um, vile mnajua tuko na mpango mkubwa wa ujenzi wa manyumba katika taifa letu la Kenya na malengo yetu katika ujenzi wa manyumba ni mambo manne ya muhimu ya kwanza ni nafasi yetu ya kupanga ajira ya vijana wa Kenya nikiongea na nyinyi saa hizi tuko na vijana 1140 ambao wanafanya kazi katika program ya housing mahali pote tunazochenga hizi manyumba ikiwemo hapa Nairobi ukienda pale mkuru ukienda kibra na sasa tutaanzisha ya bahati utakuja tuko na vijana maelfu wako kazini pale mkuru tunajenga nyumba elfu kumi na tano. ni mahali ambapo pako chini sana hata watu wengi walikuwa wananiuliza hizi manyumba inatoshana na kileleshwa na kule Lavington lakini tulikubaliana ya kwamba safari hii Mungu ametueleza ya kwamba tuinue wale wako chini ndio tukasema bottom up sasa hiyo bottom up iko mkuru tutaileta hapa bahati tumesha kubaliana na governor atajenga loti ya kwanza na mimi nitajenga loti ya pili na ya tatu tayari nimeambia wizara yetu kiongozwa na Halis Wahome tuanze ushirikiano na county government mimi nataka nirudi hapa kabla ya mwisho wa mwaka huu kuja kuanzisha nyumba hizo karibu elfu nane za bahati hapa kwenu na vile mumeelezwa hakuna mtu atatolewa kwa nyumba yake kwa nguvu there will be no eviction kila mwananchi tutakupatia mahali ya kuishi ukingojea nyumba ijengwe hiyo ni kazi yetu tutakupatia pesa ya miaka miwili ukae mahali lipe rent kidogo tukimaliza nyumba unarudi kwa nyumba yako na kazi inaendelea mbele hapa vile mmeambiwa kwa wale watu karibu mia ine wanaishi hapa tutaweza kujenga nyumba hapa karibu elfu kumi actually elfu kumi na mbili tunaweza kujenga hapa kwa hivyo tutaweza kuhakikisha kwamba wale mia ine wanaishi hapa wanarudi kwa manyumba yao na vile vile wa Kenya wengine wengi ambao saa hizi hawana mahali ya kuishi wanaishi mahali e, vitongoji wanaishi mahali hakuna sewage hakuna maji hakuna stima hakuna barabara wanaishi mahali inaitwa slums so tunataka kuhakikisha kwamba wale wanaishi katika sehemu zile tuwaondoe pale tuwaweke katika manyumba mazuri ya estate na tuweze kusonga mbele zote kama wa Kenya. Jambo la pili ni kuhakikisha ya kwamba in town yetu city ya Nairobi inapangwa vizuri. Hapa mkiona hapa kanisani wall iko hapa, wall iko hapa. Kile governor amewaambia tukipanga sasa kujenga manyumba hapa mtapata mahali ya kutosha ya kanisa hii yenu, mtengeneze parking tengeneze sehemu zingine and we can have a properly planned city na hapa Nairobi mpango yetu ni kuhakikisha kwamba by the end of this year tuko na nyumba elfu wa msini ambazo zinajengwa in Nairobi alone so mheshimiwa Ladwa na team yako ya hapa tushirikiane hata wale watu wa makongeni nishaketi chini na wao na tumekubaliana mpango na taratibu ya sawa sawa kuhakikisha ya kwamba hii mak, eh, makadara kwanza makadara hii ndio target yetu kubwa kwa sababu hapa ndio tuko na ardhi ya kutosha so hapa makadara before the end of the year we will have started the construction of minimum 30000 houses in makadara alone 
na ni kwa sababu tunataka kuinua wa Kenya wa chini wale wanalipa rent tunataka sasa walipe mortgage pole pole badala ya kulipa miaka ishirini alapo nyumba bado ni ya county ama ni ya mtu amekupatia hiyo nyumba inakuwa yako na unaanza kuishi as an owner my commitment is that in the next five years we should have a million new home owners in Kenya so that we can begin to dignify the people of Kenya by making sure that we organize them and we organize their livelihoods and their living conditions so that everybody lives in dignity vile vile sehemu hii yetu ya Islands tumekubaliana mambo yenu ya masoko iko katika mpango yetu we gave a commitment we are going to build 20 new markets in Nairobi tukishirikiana na county government and we are well on course ya kazi hiyo vile vile tukiwa hapa nimesikia vile Patrick MCA wenu wamesema kwamba hamuna shule ya upili na ndio sababu nilisema hapa Nairobi being our capital city na tuko na shida kubwa ya watoto wa Nairobi kusoma it is a very big concern to me as a parent kwamba tuko na watoto wengi hawana mali ya kusoma na ndio nilisema already and aladwa you know this nimetoa pesa bilioni moja ya kujenga additional classrooms for kids of Nairobi county na hiyo itajenga madarasa elfu moja mpya ya watoto wa Nairobi nitaweka tena katika budget mwaka ujao another 1 billion for another 1000 classrooms because i made a commitment in the next three years lazima tujenge madarasa mengine mapya elfu tatu na mia tano outside pesa ya CDF ambayo wabunge hao wanapatiwa so including CDF we should be able to build more classrooms and accommodate all the children of Nairobi city tunafanya hivyo Kenya mzima lakini Nairobi is special kwa sababu Nairobi bado iko na watoto wengi hawaendi shule just imagine kwa hivyo eh, by June this year Aladwa tell your colleagues by June this year you must have built the 1000 classrooms so that next year we do the same and among us the school sasa huyu Patrick amesema please kwa sababu wewe Aladwa uko na nafasi ya kujenga madarasa karibu 40 or uh, i don't know how many maybe uh, yeah about 40 in this uh, out of the 1000 you know so you have an opportunity to build so ongeza kwa hiyo madarasa ya huyu mungwana hiyo unasema inaitwa nini pale Morrison lakini mbali na ile aladwa atakujengea kama atakujengea madarasa mawili nitakuongezea wewe Patrick milioni kumi ndio tujenge madarasa mengine kumi zaidi na nitatumana next week waziri atakuja pale umuonyeshe mahali itajengwa hizo madarasa so that so that tuwe na secondary school ya watu wa hapa bahati ndio vijana wa hapa wapate nafasi ya kazi hiyo mimi nataka niwaeleze wazazi as parents we must be concerned about our children lazima tushughulike na masomo na hali ya watoto wetu kwa sababu tusiposhughulika na hiyo kazi tutakuwa tunamkosea hata Mungu because hawa watoto tumepatiwa ni baraka tumepatiwa na Mungu and we must look after them so um, hiyo shule ya Morrison umesema tatumana next week we are going to build a whole new uh, secondary school there and i will come to you ndio vijana wa hapa na tuangalie vile tutashirikiana kwa pamoja mwisho yale mambo mengine mengi ya Nairobi hapa 
nataka ni wahakikishie ya kwamba wakati tunapanga mambo ya barabara, mambo ya stima, mambo ya maji, panga ajira ya vijana wenu we keep Nairobi in focus. Tunahakikisha kwamba iko Nairobi iko katikati. Nasumbuka na huyu gavana wenu saa zingine hata jana nimeongea na yeye mara tatu kwa mambo ya Nairobi. Si nivyo gavana? Nikimwambia iko shida hapa, panga hapa, iko shida pale, panga pale kwa sababu we want to make our city the face of our country. Mimi vile vile nataka ni wahakikishie ya kwamba tutashirikiana tutafanya hiyo kazi kwa pamoja na mpango yetu inaambatana na mambo ya Biblia watu wengi hawaelewi ni nini kwa sababu gani tunapanga vile tunapanga na nataka nichukue nafasi hii ni waulize wakulima wetu ya kwamba sasa msimu wa upanzi inaanza mwezi huu Nataka niwaeleze hakuna wasiwasi ya mambo ya mbolea. Tayari katika stores zetu sehemu mbalimbali mbali, tunapeleka eh, sehemu ambayo inahitajika. Tuko na magunia milioni tano ya mbolea ambayo tayari tumenunua kama serikali na wakulima watapata. Niwashukuru wakulima mwaka uliopita walituzalishia chakula ndio gharama ya chakula imeenda chini mwaka huu tena tunaongeza times 2 ile tulifanya mwaka uliopita kwa sababu ukisoma matayo na bishop wewe ni rafiki yangu mimi nafuata maneno ya biblia sana matayo 25 nataka muandike yule mwenye anajua kuandika matayo 25 ukurasa wa 31 usome mpaka mwisho nafikiri 46 inazungumzia judgment day kwamba kuna siku kila mmoja wetu atasimama mbele ya Mungu mimi na wewe na tutakuwa na maswali tutaulizwa pale tukisimama mbele ya Mungu so usome vizuri alafu ujue utachangia namna gani Otherwise utakuwa upande ya left ya watu wa kwenda jehanam ama utakuwa upande ya right ya watu wa kwenda mbinguni. Mwende musome. Mpango yetu ya kuzalisha chakula katika taifa letu la Kenya ni tuhakikishe vile neno la Mungu inatuambia tupate chakula tuweze kila mkenya aweze kulisha familia yake. Mpango yetu kwa matibabu na mumesikia vile tume E, tumepanga tumepitisha sheria zote tumepitisha regulation zote sasa tutakuwa na mfumo mpya saa hizi wizara itatoa mwongozo vile kila mmoja wetu atasajiliwa katika mpango mpya wa matibabu ndio wale ambao hawana uwezo kabisa wa kulipia chochote pale hospitalini sisi kama taifa eh, serikali ya Kenya tuwalipie na tuhakikisha kwamba wako na bima kama wa Kenya wengine. Wale wanalipa kiwango cha juu tuwapunguzie kama hawana uwezo. Wale mshahara kubwa kama mimi na Sakaja na hawa wadosi tulipe zaidi. Tuweze kupeleka Kenya yetu mbele. That is the commitment we have. Vile vile ni kupanga ajira ya vijana wetu. Na wakati tunapanga ajira ya vijana wetu tuko na mipango karibu manne ambayo tunapanga ajira ya hawa vijana housing export of labor digital jobs and other interventions that we are making including our special economic zones and also our county aggregation and industrial parks so that we can create opportunities for young people to work in Kenya and contribute their energy their talent their expertise in driving the economy of our country haya mipango yote ni kwa sababu tunataka tukisimama mbele ya Mungu tuweze kusema we did something to make sure that nobody slept hungry we did something to make sure that those who were sick got attention 
we did something to make sure that our young people had something to do. We did something to make sure that people have water to drink. It is in the plan of God. So, Bishop Amen's idea kuniambia ya kwamba jameni musinite majina mara sakayo mara nani. <laughs> Lakini unajua askofu. Mimi kama msomi wa Biblia ukisoma katika wa Korinto wa kwanza mstari wa tisa No mstari wa Korinto wa kwanza tisa Pale katika msha, eh, mstari wa nafikiri eh, kumi na tisa inasema I became a Jew so that the Jews could come along I became everything for Christ's sake. And I want to tell you I have no problem being called whatever name so long as I achieve a better destiny for our country. <laughs> and more importantly, kama Nehemiah angesikia Sanballat na Tobias ukuta wa Jerusalem ingejengwa kwa sababu kuna kuna Tobias wengi wanasema hata hii mpango ya housing haina maana hata hii mpango ya kuzalisha chakula haina maana na sisemi ati aladwa ni Sanballat hapana <laughs> nasema tu kuna wengine so katika hii harakati ya kujenga tutakuwa na watu wengi ambao wana hawaoni mahali tunaenda lakini baadaye watakuja kuelewa where we are going. Si ndio? So we have I have absolutely no issue with whatever is being said left right and center. My focus is to make sure that we change our country. And I am very clear my brother bishop in my mind. Mungu hajanijalia niwe rais wa Kenya ati kujaza nafasi ya mtu kuitwa rais ama ati ni, ndio nipate mshahara nipate kazi hapana Mungu amenipatia hii nafasi nibadilishe Kenya and I intend to do it and I know it is not going to be easy but by God's grace we are going to change this country for the better tutahakikisha <laughs> kwamba kuna chakula ya kutosha tufukuze njaa hawa vijana wetu wengi wanaangaika wana ajira tutapanga mpaka wawe na ajira hawa watu wanaishi katika slums it is our duty responsibility kwamba na wao they live in dignity and that is our mission it is not going to be easy i know that very clear but i intend to be focused until we achieve it for the sake of our country the same way paul said I became everything for the sake of the gospel of Christ. I don't mind being anything for the sake of the destiny of our country. Lazima tuungane, tushirikiane, tufanye kazi hiyo ndio nchi yetu ya Kenya iweze kusonga mbele. Mimi nataka niwashukuru sana na waomba vile askofu amesema mtuombe sisi wote. Kazi hiyo ya kuongoza watu wengi sio kazi rahisi lakini Mungu atatupatia neema ya kuhakikisha kwamba tunatimiza mapenzi ya Mungu katika taifa letu la Kenya because that is what it is. So asanteni sana. Eh, ule bwana Njuguna amesema nyinyi sio watu wa eh, kuitana. Ati kujeni tusaidia hapa jenga namna hii. Nyinyi mnafanya kazi yenu mkimaliza mnatuita tunakuja tuna tunawapigia makofi. <laughs> so bwana Njuguna hata na hivyo kwa sababu nyinyi sio watu wa kuitana lakini sisi ta zingine ni watu wa kujituma. <laughs> so hiyo eh, mjengo uko nayo hapo nyuma utaniona hapo kando nitakusaidia milioni tatu uendelee na hiyo mjengo. Ndio. <laughs> na mkimalizia mtatuita tena. Ndio? 
na muki, musi, muki kwa manjiani mutwite sisi ni marafiki na tukuji hapa kwa sababu sisi si ni viongozi tunakuja hapa kwa sababu sisi ni wakristo na tunakuja kushirikiana pamoja na nyinyi so watu wa bahati tunawapenda sana tunawatakia heri na mimi najua ya kwamba kwa maombi yenu ushirikiano wenu na umoja wetu sote kama watu wa Kenya tutafaulu na um, natarajia sana ama natamani sana 